Hey guys, it's me, Scratch How To. And today, we will make an online shooter game. It's been a while, but it's time to make something. Yeah, it's gonna be another online game because uh, online games are just better. Yeah. And one of my commenters <clears throat> asked for that. So yeah, comment down below what y'all would like to see. But uh, uh, yeah. So uh, first, uh, I made this. Oh, never mind. I'll save as copy. So the thing is, you have to watch my how to make an online game series to make this. Because this is all the base stuff we have here. You know, you need this to be able to actually start the online game. You know, actually have the online part in the online game. Anyways, so now we're going to start by naming this to online shoot trip. P1. Okay. So now, um... Let's re replace our cloud variables after, of course, you've watched part one to form my online game. That's right. So now P1 cloud variable, P2 cloud variable, P3 cloud variable, and then P4 cloud variable. So first we're going to go with the year, make sure they update. So I'm pretty sure that we should be joining. This join time is way too much. Three seconds of join time. We don't want that. We can reduce the joy time to up to half a second. So let's do that. We want the best experience. <clears throat> now, if I make two windows, sorry if the window looks squished. But I have to do this. I go open two windows. I'm just going to see like if it's showing the other person. Okay, guys, all I have to do is reload both sides. So as you can see, moving smooth. You know, it's actually pretty fast because it's like, it's actually updating to wherever my mouse is going, which is good because we need it to be as smooth as possible. So first off, uh, we don't want to go to mouse pointer. Let's just, in the green flag, click go to X, zero, zero. Now, if you all want to make this open world, uh, you have to do a different tutorial. I know, I have so many tutorials in this thing, but like, I'm not trying to make this an extra long series. I'm just trying to make it very simple. Online shooter game. But how are we going to shoot other players? So let's put shooting for all sprites. So a green flag click to reset shooting to zero. Always reset your variables unless you're doing so that whatever the person rejoins, they don't lose their progress. And we don't really need that. We need it to be shooting zero. When we're in the cloud data, we also, after adding, I mean, before adding the timer, we have to add shooting. Okay, and now let's just decode and code it for now. So this is where our shooting is. Let's make a new variable for this part only called shooting. I don't know. Shoot. So there we go. It should go here. Make it for this part only. Two. Okay. Now let's actually customize our stuff. So first we're going to have a, a gun and a we're not going to attach it to a player sprite. That's just way too basic. Let's just make one in a separate sprite. So I'm just designing mine like this. I mean, y'all could do this too, but yeah, I mean, I, it's better to just be creative with your ideas. So yeah. Obviously, this looks more like a bullet. Actually, this should even be the gun. This should be the bullet at this point. In fact, now that I think about it, the gun should just be a square, you know? So let's just do this. All right, this should be good, right? No, um, a little bit smaller. Um, let's drag it. So. And then we need to go to back layer. I'm just going to set to back layer so they'll be able to see how it looks. <clears throat> and I guess this will do for now. So we'll name this. Okay. Now this this will be our bullet because it looks like a bullet. Obviously, I have to change this. <clears throat> Some green flag clicked forever. Such costume to gun. Go to player. Point towards mouse point. Oh, yeah, we also want to move like 20 steps. Turn it that way 90 degrees. Moves like 10 steps. Turn that 90 degrees. Now, what this does is basically moves it towards the right. Yeah. Now we want to change it to 15. 
So now it looks like there's actually good in our right hand. And rather than just in the center of us, which makes the game look more realistic. Okay, now what you need to do is that we can actually move our player, because I don't know why I didn't start with that. But that part should be easy. I mean, we don't want to just have moves towards our mouse pointer, we want to do so that we're using, like, if I press D, I want it to go this way. So we're going to do that. Now in the player game loop, since we have, since that's just there, I guess you could do that. So, if key D pressed. Now let's just change X by 10. It's that simple. Now we can move to the right. Uh, but if we want to move to the left, we're going to have to set to negative 10. Change X by negative 10. And now we can move left and right. Hey, wait, wait a second. Why is our gun not moving with us? Well, that's because uh, the gun is ahead of the player. So basically what happens is that the gun moves after the player does. So it looks like the player's... Or actually moves before the player does. So that's why it's just built like that. Now listen, there's nothing you can do to fix it except after we change our position, we can broadcast update player position. And uh, I don't know why that happened. Okay. Anyways, when I receive update player position, we should do all of this movement stuff. Okay, also go to back layer. Don't go to front layer. Okay, and now as you can see, our gun isn't moving with our player. Because right after our player moves, the gun moves with it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to move up and down. So when key W pressed, change Y by 10. And when key S pressed, change Y by negative 10. How am I doing this so fast, you say? Well, it's because of scratch add-ons. And I've already made a tutorial on how scratch add-ons work. So you should watch that if you want to be able to do this as fast as how I just did it. And I'll have to manually do everything. But anyways, now as you can see, we can move around. You know, point towards the mouse pointer to shoot. So, yeah, if I wish to point towards the mouse pointer here. There you go. Because now our player actually moves towards that. That's actually, that should be really important, I guess, since we're going to be adding our direction to encode. So now, let's go here. And then, um, wait, where was it? Okay, so what was it? Before the shooting, which means that if we wanted to do that, we would point in direction value. There we go. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, also, we should do it so that we have some eyes. You know, some eyes would be good. So we know exactly which direction we're looking at. Obviously, make your eyes face towards the right because every scratcher knows that. You should always. If you're making stuff up here in the front, you have to point it towards the right. There we go. So now, let's so see. And let me change this to red. I don't know why they're green. It should be red. As you see, that looks way better. Okay, now we grab this. And put it here. Okay, let me hide this. Now we're going to put it here back. There we go. Because we're not going to have a manual gun like we do here. This is our own player's gun. So the other place just look like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do it here is that we want to... Well, since this is a shooter game, I mean, we want to be able to collide with other players. Like, if we hit a player, we don't want to, like, you know go through them we want to be able to hit them so if touching actually but what the other players also has this gun so what if we're touching what if we're touching uh oh my god what if we're touching the gun part uh, we want to be able to do what we're touching here and that and so we can basically do for just touching the color red right so let's just do that if touching color red and we don't have to worry about our gun because our gun is a separate sprite. So I guess here we'll change our Y by negative 10. Obviously it's going to be different for everyone. So let me just quickly do that. Okay, so now... Um, let me just... Maybe if I click forever show this is just a test script to see if our collide thing is working so as you see whenever i touch this person i collide with them i cannot i can physically not even like move past them you know? uh, yeah i can't but we're, we're we should be able to like slide off the player's cut you know so let's make a hitbox basically what a hitbox is it's the collision it's how our player collides you know because right now our player collides like a circle we want to collide 
like this. Like this is the part where our player will be able to get hit. So if we just do this here, so now we switch costume to hitbox at the beginning, but then we switch our costume back to player at the end. So that your eyes see the player, but the collisions are with the hitbox. As you can see, now we can actually like kind of slide off players now, I guess. So yeah. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what that looks like right now. Let me reload the other tab. And then we we'll see. Oh yeah, let me remove the test script. Okay. So it shouldn't really take long since it's not really a big file. And I just joined. And as you can see me here, my gun cannot collide with this player right here, which is me. And there's still smooth movement. So yeah, it's pretty much looking good. The guns are basically in the exact same position. If I line them up, yo, how I put them in the exact same? I don't even know how I did that. But anyways, now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do so that we can shoot out bullets. Obviously, we're not going to do the damaging part yet, but we're just going to set we can shoot out bullets. So let's drag this cost you here. Obviously you have to make your new bullet, but I accidentally made a bullet instead of a gun. So yeah, it's convenient for me. So, but the thing about your bullet is that you want to center it. That way it's precise. Okay, do you like put I Okay. <clears throat> now, how we're going to do it is that whenever we're shooting, we're going to not only set our shooting to one, we're going to add our X position, our Y position, and our direction to the bullet to a list. And then this bullet thing will create clones and set their properties depending on that list. So let's make a new list called bullets. For all sprites, of course. So in green, well, green flag, click to blue of bullets. So now um, here, if mouse down, or key space pressed, I guess, since some people use space to shoot. But then, let's see, we want to add our X and Y position. So, then add X position to bullets, add our Y position to bullets, and add our direction to bullets. Let's see, um, we're also going to add, uh, zero to bullets okay so basically we have all this stuff but what does the zero mean well because we're also going to be doing the same thing for these players whenever they shoot us so we want the bullet to know if it's supposed to do damage to us if it's not supposed to do damage to us so yeah and then uh we don't really need to do anything after that in fact let's just do a, create a block called shoot bullets And then, okay, there we go. Now we shoot some bullets. <clears throat> and now forever if length of bullets is greater than zero, then we want to go to X. <clears throat> That's one of bullets. I don't know, two of bullets. And then we want, and then if we go to the gun here, we could just Take this, go here. We're going to do that because then they'll because remember our guns over here. We want our bullet to go here. In fact, we also wanted to start in the middle of the gun area, so we're gonna have to move like maybe 20 steps for that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to wait no no no, we need to point in direction first. Item two, I three of bullets. So there's that way our direction's correct. We move in the steps where it's at, where we're actually supposed to be in. Now, so we can do variable for this part only. Hurt. And then we set hurt to item four bullets. And then we delete, and then we just delete one of bullets four times. Okay, now when I start as a code, repeat until touching edge uh, I guess you could just move 15 steps 
And then we delete this clone. Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, so we get to move. When we click, uh, no clones are created. Oh yeah, right, we need to start creating a clone stuff. Um, okay. We also need to show clear graphic effects. Uh, we need to go to back layer, set size to 100, switch guys to bullet. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god. And as you see, we go to infinite amount of bullets. Which that's because whenever we're, we're you know, actually go, we'll, we'll until we stop. So you have to click insanely fast for it to do for it to do one by one. And I don't have that click speed, so shit, this actually looks obviously you can't directly aim where you want to go. Unless we use something specific. But obviously we're not going to do that. We're just gonna start wherever you click. It goes a little bit offset. As you see, it's not gonna touch my mouse pointer. If you can even see my mouse pointer, probably can't. But yeah. Oh yeah, also I just added this little mouse clicking thing. Uh which I made a while ago, you know, which I can just import it to any game I want. So yeah, then whenever you click, you'll just do that. But anyways, we have a little bit more time. So how about we just uh, on my other players will be able to, you know, shoot. So, um, yeah, let's do this. So, uh, let's move this when I receive begins. Let's duplicate it, and then we'll put this one here. Shoot bullets. So we will set shooting to one. You will wait 0 0.1 seconds. We'll set shooting to zero. And then we'll wait half a second. I mean, no, one fourth of a second before we can actually shoot again. There we go. Okay. So now whenever we're shooting, we already start, we already did our start shooting as well. So then he, let's do here. If I'm shooting is equal to one. No, no, no. Our shooting for this part only in the other player's part. Then we just go go here, add this stuff here. I don't need this, we need this. Yeah, I basically add their X position, Y position, their direction, and add a one to bullets. Okay. Now let's go to oh wait no no no. I just realized. If we duplicate this again, like how we did before, now forever, if she needs you to one, then we could wait 0 0.1 seconds. So that way, the next time it is, we won't shoot multiple times. Okay. That's just going to prevent us from making multiple shoot shots, you know? So then in bullets, uh, now we can do this. If else. So if hurt is equal to zero, they appeal to touching edge or touching other players. Move 15 steps. Actually, we should do touching color red. Since, you know, that's probably the best thing we can do. So, appeal to touching color red. <clears throat> or touching edge. Wait, yeah. Then move 15 steps, go to back. And that is if it hurts equal to one. Repeat until touching player or touching edge. So yeah. Now let me just do this. Y'all can try this yourselves too. All you have to do is just uh, make two tabs. You know, put them window by window. And then you'll have real time view. So yeah, let's just wait for this to load. Oh, sorry about that guys. Um, my video shut off. But anyways, we're back. So now it's time to test out if our shooting works. Yeah. Pretty sure it's safe now. Let's move over here. And then we'll just wait for the other side to load. Okay. Hey, so now as you see, you can move smoothly. If I shoot, shoot, it shows the bullet. Obviously, whatever we click here, it doesn't show. And not touching. We have to add this here because it automatically it already detects that we're touching the player. So if we do this, yeah, there we go. That's more like it. So basically we can shoot at this person right here. Or we can shoot here. <clears throat> um oh yeah, the internet just went away. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share as it helps the channel. Hit that notifications bell have a wonderful day. So like I said in the next episode, we will just be working out health bars, you know, stuff like that. 
So uh, yeah, 